All right, guys, what is up? And I am back with another video, bitch. Okay, so today is gonna be like a feminine hygiene, I guess you can say, type of video. So I'm gonna get waxed down there today. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Hopefully she hasn't replied, so I'm hoping she says it's okay. It's just so fucking shiny. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is going to be this company called Cookie Wash. I don't know why it's not focusing, but yes, we, I'm, go I'm going to do inserts. But this is basically Cookie Wash. I have a few items here that I bought and I've been using them for, I want to say two or three months now, even longer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the wash. So basically, I've actually tried two different washes and I went back to this one. So this is the Cookie Wash Unscented All Natural, All Natural Feminine Wash. Um, it's a 5 fluid ounce, um, 150 milliliters. So I'm actually going to read it to you. Cookie Wash is an unscented all natural feminine wash. Same thing as the front. So Cookie Wash is a gentle foaming cleanser designed to moisturize and refresh in the most intimate and sensitive parts of your body. Directions for external use only. Press foam pump into dispense wash. Apply wash on vulva and rub thoroughly. Rinse off with water and pat dry. May be used daily. Discontinue if you if any uh, irritation occurs. And the ingredient is so saponified organic olive. Hopefully, I said that word right. Coconut and sunflower oils. Organic aloe vera. Organic shea butter. Natural rosemary extract and citric acid. Basically, everything is natural. It's all good for your body. It doesn't throw off your pH balance. If anything, it brings back. So this is basically a very good wash. I buy the unscented one because I tried the, the purple, what's purple? What's purple, what's purple? What's purple? I don't know what purple, what, what scent is purple? Oh my God. I really don't know what scent purple is. Lavender, 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 lavender. <laughs> I forgot what scent purple was, but lavender. But basically, I didn't like it very much because like the lavender is basically just like an essential oil. If you know what essential oil smell like, that's all it was. I feel like it was just drops of essential oil and I didn't really like it. I used it until I obviously ran out, but, and, and this is all purple, but I like the unscented one. Doesn't have a scent, doesn't have a scent. I do, how many pumps? I do like seven pumps because I like to have my little, my spongy thing like full of I, um, product. Everything else, mm, it has basically shit you can't pronounce. If you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be putting it on your body. You can pronounce everything in here except for that first word, but it's followed by organic olive and I know what that is. So this cookie wash retails for 20 bucks. It basically lasts you a whole month. The next item is this. It is a slice of moisture, so it comes in this. I've been using this already um, for about a month. Um, so this goes in here. Cookie oil. Cookie oil is $25. I've been using it for a month and it's not even halfway full. So this is going to last you a good two to three months, you guys. So it says sweet cookie oil. Can be used to shave, soothe, or to moisture vulva. I don't know what the vulva is. I'm guessing that's your, your down there. Ingredients, organic argan oil, organic grape seed, for, grape seed oil, sesame oil, something oil, organic jojoba oil, moringoya more oil, organic something essential oil, orange peel oil, vanilla. Pump onto clean fingers, apply to vulva, and labia. I don't know what that is either. I'm guessing it's all down there. But basically, the reason I use this is because I do get wax down there and she gave me instructions on how to properly take care of down there because I did not know how to properly take care of down there. That's basically why I use this because you're supposed to moisturize yourself down there. You can use any oil, any like a coconut oil, tea tree oil, shea butter. You can use anything just to keep it moisturized down there for the days you're not exfoliating. You didn't know you needed to exfoliate, did you? <sighs> Not a breath. So this is your cookie mist. So it's a feminine spray for sensitive cookies. Um, it's a 2.0 fluid ounce, 60 milliliters. This retails for 12 bucks, you guys. Um, it comes in a concealed. I just got this one. I haven't opened it yet. 
It does come concealed. Um, the soap came like this too. I'm going to open it. So, Fresh Cookie Mist is a fine mist spray designed to moisturize and refresh in most sensitive cookies. Use after gym, party, or shower. Directions for external use only. Press prompt to spray on labia and I don't know how to say these freaking words. From, you're down there, then pat dry. Maybe use daily, discontinue use if any irritation occurs. Ingredients, rose water and aloe vera. So basically when you feel like you stank or maybe before your boo thing is coming to, you know, cook it, <laughs> get to cook it right. Basically you use this and just spray it just to give you that fresh feeling. Cookie oil, guys. Um, cookie mist. I haven't used it yet. I haven't used it yet. I just bought it. I just opened it. Okay, the last holy grail item that I buy from Cookie Wash is the cookie... Re the... What's it called on here? The Cookie Restore, and it retails for $20. $20 is very, very affordable. It lasts you all month long. I'm going to open it, you guys. This is my last package. Obviously, I'm done. I just used the last um, thing this morning or last night. Okay, well, let me read it first. So, um, Cookie Restore Move Out Yeast. You don't necessarily have to have a yeast infection to use this. This basically just bring. Um, let me see if it tells you. Okay, I'm just going to read it. Um, move out yeast. Your cookie needs this milk to melt away yeast infection and B V symptoms. We, survived, we surveyed 300 women about their experience with this product and here are the results. 96% removed odor after using once. Yes, because I'm not going to lie you guys. I don't know I don't know like if it's the water or the way I was just showering once we moved here. I just down there just wasn't the best and um, I'm going to admit that. I don't have any shame or anything, but I just wasn't liking the smell. I, like, I wouldn't eat myself. Why would I expect anybody else to? Not that nobody eats me, but I'm just saying. So, 99% yeast infection symptoms went away. I don't know what those symptoms are, so I don't know. 100% feel more confident about having sex. Yes, but I haven't had any in a few months, so I, I couldn't tell you. 98% felt extra fresh when used after period. Um, I use it all the time, so I mean, I don't know. 100% treated the after sex odor. Again, I haven't had any, so I don't know. So the instructions, insert one in your vagina every 24 hours for seven days to get rid of the itchy, smelly yeast infection and BV symptoms. Use after sex or after period to balance pH and add freshness. Condition, extreme freshness may occur. He will want to drink you up like milk. Okay, bitch. Okay. So, it comes in a little baggie right here. And I, I counted them last month, and I think it's 21. So, one, two, this one has 20. Maybe I counted wrong. I don't know if it's 20, 21. It doesn't necessarily say how much comes in it. And you guys, if you look at these little lines, I tried contouring without messing up my baby hairs. And it didn't work out. Oh, and I did use um, ColourPop. The color might not, might be too bright for me. I don't know. But these are it. So the way these work, you guys, I'm going to show you how I put it in. So I basically, I will grab one. I have it in my hand. I will pop my leg up onto the sink and I would just wiggle it in there. That's basically how you would insert it. And that's how I insert it, you guys. Um, I do have a link you can click in the description box to give you 10% off. That is a good price because I'm telling you, this shit is like really cheap. You got $20 for a month's worth of fresh tasting milk pills. Um, 20? 12? 20? Something? 25. 25. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, this literally last, I've been using this for a month. I used it in my last month's. When I bought last month, um, you guys, it's not even halfway full. It's not even halfway done yet. And that's only a month. The spray, haven't tried it yet. Let me, missed. I don't know, I know it's money thing. <laughs> but anyway, it's supposed to give you a fresh, fresh scent. I don't know. 
But you guys, these products right here, right here, you guys, amazing. I, I love mainly the, the restoration cookie. Um, this because like it just, I don't know. Like I said, I wouldn't have ate myself before, but now, no, I'm kidding. But like it really does, you can literally, like if you have just like a small odor, this literally takes it away within the first day of you using it because by tomorrow, by the next day when you're putting in your next um, pill thing and you smell, I sniff my fingers, I'm not gonna lie. You sniff your fingers, you don't smell anything. It's amazing, you guys. But I'm hoping that she allows me to film while I'm getting waxed. She is the best, I love her. And again, I drive an hour just to get waxed. There's other places around here, but I'm only gonna go to her because her photos, like results don't freaking lie and it's been a little bit over a month because I was supposed to go to her last week, but Mother Nature decided to say hello, bitch. So I couldn't go. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping she lets me record so you can guys see my facial expressions. It's gonna be my third time. She said by the third time you don't feel nothing. So I'm hoping she's right and I'll see you guys there. So she's putting powder on. Yeah, I think so. It'll be your first strip, okay? Okay. And this is hard wax, not the strip wax, okay? Okay. When I tell you, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, okay? Okay. Take a deep breath. Got the three? You okay? Yeah. Right. Take a deep breath. Got the three? You okay? Yeah. That one didn't hurt. But deep breath. Mm. You okay? Yeah. Right. You okay? Yeah, that one doesn't. The sides don't hurt. When we get to your um, underarms, what I'm gonna have you do um, is take you know your top off and everything, uh -huh. so that I can be able to wipe that off and wipe it dry. And okay. I'll put powder in this there for the base. Okay. How would you rate the armpits? But some people say that you know the armpits hurt more than the <laughs> the Brazilian. Really? Yeah. Oh no. You're doing the the molding thingy? Yeah, right now I am. Oh, that's fast. I tell you to take a deep breath. I want you to take a deep breath, okay? One, two, three. Put your legs down. Count the ten. Ten? <laughs> Nine. Eight. Seven. You're just going to open back up. Just let the air hit you. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and do any cleanup. Any spare hair. Okay. You say armpit hair is more than Brazilian? <laughs> That's the only thing I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> Day that you get out to the shower, you take a bath. Um, you just want to moisturize your skin. I like the aloe vera gel. Um, mm -hmm. I like to moisturize the yeah. And you just put a dab of that on. And then, again, about to get your foot. For the first time, you want to refrain from anything. Pretty much anything. Sexual activity, pools, jacuzzi, saunas, exercising, tanning, um, anything that's going to cause friction to your back. <laughs> After the 24 hours is up, go ahead and resume normal activity. Um, you want to take a shower at the same time tomorrow. Um, so tonight you just want to rest and everything else. Um, don't touch excessively with your hands because your pores are going to be extremely open. Mm -hmm. And you don't need any bacteria getting inside of your pores. Exfoliate two days after this appointment and then every other day in between until your next four week appointment. Mm -hmm. um, and as long as you follow the aftercare instructions on your end, and you take care of your wet, I'll follow the directions on my end. And it can be a happy union.
All right, you guys, as you seen, I just got waxed by Aqua. Um, she didn't want to be in the video, so we respected her and we didn't put her in. Honestly, if this is my third wax, and you guys see my facial expressions. It felt, it, it still stings a little, but it's, it's, it's a durable sting. Um, I don't know. I like getting waxed rather than shaving. I just did my underarm. I just did my underarms as well as my Brazilian. That didn't hurt really. I was so scared. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna close out this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to buy your cook, sweet cookie wash. Okay, and use my code. And if you come to Aqua, let her know Belinda sent you. Oh, 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 see you guys later.